Hey kids, it's me, Eric Nesnik. It is time for another episode of The Hungry Cowboy. This one is going to be easy and tasty. Two of my favorite things, easy and tasty. Delicious Snicker salad, today on The Hungry Cowboy. Mmm, -mm, I can't wait. I really can. not Let's go. I'm ready to make the salad. I just did a snicker bar. You're really satisfied. All right, gang, the first thing you want to do, get a mixing bowl and mix together one and a half cups of delicious cow's milk and one packet of instant vanilla pudding. That's it, that simple. Milk going in. Milk me Rhonda, milk, milk me Rhonda, milk me Rhonda, yeah, get it into the bowl. And pudding. Do, 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 do. Mix it, mix it real good. Uh, it's like a jackhammer. It's very thick pudding. I'm just kidding. It's not really like a jackhammer. I'm just playing around right now. And once you've made your pudding mixture and had it all mixed up, to let it sit for about two minutes or so. Just let it kind of get semi-set. That's all. You have your semi-set vanilla pudding, to which you will add an entire tub, an eight-ounce tub of our friend Cool Whip from Kraft. Mm. Whipped cream going in, full tub. You also add in apples and Snicker bars. Now, here's the deal with both of these things. The apples have to be Granny Smith, have to be. They just have to be. You can try other ones, but they just don't have that same tartness. Just take my word for it, all about Granny Smiths. How much? Up to you. I did three large Granny Smiths, that's what this is. Out! This is little, my little Snicker bars. Here too, the amount is up to you. If you want to be healthy and pretend you're being healthy, use a little less. If you want to be a little fat porker like me, use more. Typically, I would say four of the large, the regular size Snicker bars. Today, I use little fun size ones because they were on sale at Target. So when you're cutting your little mini Snicker bars, just make sure they get into little bite-sized pieces like this. That's it. One tub of Cool Whip, the Snicker bars, the apples in your mix. Mmm, it's starting to look very delicious. And don't forget to do those flips, lift it up and over so you incorporate that pudding mixture into the whipped cream, the apples, and the Snickers. So when you're happy that your new friend is sufficiently mixed and all the little parts are, are buddied up together in there, into the fridge it goes. Probably do this for at least two hours. Give it some time in the fridge, let it cool up, set a little bit, and I promise you, when you pull it out of the fridge, it is gonna be so tasty. Snickers out. All right, two hours is up. I've taken well, at least a little bit of mine and, and plated it nicely. Mmm, mm-hmm. There's apple, mmm. More, ooh, Snicker. I love a bite when I get two pieces of Snicker instead of just one, like a bonus. Mm. I love this thing because, number one, it's mighty, mighty tasty. It's so easy to make, 20 minutes or so, in and out the door. Of course, you need those two hours in the fridge. Two hours and 20 minutes, in and out the door. Mmm, we took care of Snicker dessert today on The Hungry Cowboy. And now I really need to take care of this Snicker dessert. I'm Eric Nesnik. As always, I continue to be younger than I look, but older than I feel. I will look forward to seeing you on the next episode of The Hungry Cowboy. Mmm. Ah, in the spirit of Granny Smith apples, we could play a game. Can you hold your tongue and say the word apple? Three times? <clears throat> I will demonstrate. Take your thumb and a forefinger, hold your tongue and say, Apple, 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 like that. It's fun. Now you try. Ooh, good job. I am not. Oh, that's awfully rude. <laughs> mm. <laughs>